Hi, how's it going everybody? My name is Art. I'm one of the senior technicians here at Diamond Multimedia. We here at Diamond are not only uh, technicians, but we're hardcore gamers like most of you guys out there today. And when we like when we play our games, we like using the best equipment and getting the best performance as we possibly can. And for that, I'm here uh, making a walkthrough video for our Diamond video card, showing you guys how to set them up properly and have the right configurations for everything to get the best performance out of your games. Let's pull up CPU Z and show you the system specs we have on this gaming rig. We're running an Intel Core i7 950 CPU running at 3 GHz. We're using an MSI X58 chipset motherboard. We have 8 gigs of Corsair DDR3 memory. And we're running a 6990 video card in the machine right now with 4 gigs of memory. For more detailed information about our gaming rig, please refer to the text below the video. I'm also going to be using fraps to capture the frame rate of our games when we're running the benchmarks. And some of the games we're going to be playing today are going to be Rage, we got Metro 2033, and we also have Crisis 2. Pretty much these three games right here are the standard and high-end gaming so far in this uh, quarter of the year that we've been in. And Crisis 2 was released earlier this year, pretty much setting the standard for high-end gaming, which pretty much beats your hardware to a crisp. And let's start off by uh, walking through the Catalyst Control Center really quick and just show you exactly how I set up my preferences and the proper way of controlling everything. First, the most important, you always want to have the latest drivers installed. I have the 11.9, which is current at the date. And as you can see, I'm running two 6990s in crossfire configuration. As you can see, linked adapter, linked and linked. Total of four GPUs in this one machine that we're using. And pretty much the 3D application settings menu is where you want to be to configure all your filtering and all the performance filters on your card. Let's start off with the first one, anti-aliasing. This pretty much helps you render the image on the screen to avoid all the sharp and jagged edges that you would see when you're playing a game. I like setting mine to override application settings because most games don't have all these uh, performance and filter settings inside the options menu so it's always good to override the game settings with the Catalyst Control Center and I set mine a uh, 2x so it's not too high but it's pretty much at a good level where it gives you a clean image and let's see I don't like using the application settings like I mentioned 2x is what I prefer for the anti optic filtering as well it pretty much helps you uh, clean up the picture on the screen uh, this filter right here the morphological uh, filtering basically what that does is it clears up the blurriness you would see when there are lights and shadows in a game this helps clean it up and give you a much better clearer picture than you would want to see in the game tessellation select AMD optimized basically lets you use some of the physics features on the card uh, catalyst AI I always set the high quality to get the best picture of the game you could move it to a performance but then again you're gonna lose uh, your image quality it's just a preference by choice Enable surface form optimization and what this does is it pretty much helps clear the uh, the vertical sink that you would see that's running on the floor or the the lower uh, the lower level of the game you're playing like the map it will help clear out all the extra jagged edges you will see and vertical refresh I always set high quality anti-aliasing mode again high quality and open gel settings 
I select triple buffering frame because it helps out with the vertical sync when it's enabled. And pretty much those are the settings that I like running my games at and that I've noticed the best performance and the best quality when running these games. And you just want to hit apply for your uh, Catalyst Control Center to save it and then from there you're pretty much set.